Good morning, it's Max Cope, orthopaedic surgeon who specialises in lower limb, hip and knee replacements. So today I read an interesting article in uh, one of our journals uh, that I receive regularly um, and it, dem it uh, was discussing uh, about kneeling after knee replacement. Now, one of the things they mentioned that um, a lot of studies have been done just describing kneeling, but they don't actually specify what kneeling entails for the patient. Obviously, it can be quite different from a deep flex position um, uh, for praying through to just kneeling on a single knee with the other leg flexed. So there was some discussion about the fact that um, you're not necessarily always comparing like for like. One of the interesting things though, that they said it, there was no predictive value, so there was nothing that they could identify that demonstrated whether people would go on to kneel comfortably afterwards. And about 50% of patients went on to kneel and 50% failed to kneel afterwards. One of the um, things they did mention, however, though, that uh, kneeling was related to body mass index, um, which is a measure of how heavy you are in relation to your height. Obviously, the higher your body mass index, uh, the greater covering of flesh you have around the knee, so the more difficult it is to bend the leg significantly enough to be able to kneel. And they found that people with a lower body mass index were more likely to be able to kneel afterwards, which you kind of think makes common sense. Uh, in my own practice, I found that um, people um, usually go on to kneel if they're encouraged to do so um, and advise that it won't damage the knee replacement. Um, I always remember one carpet fitter that I've uh, replaced it, both his knees on who um, demonstrated to me that he could kneel quite successfully and uh, walked around on his knees on the floor, um, which I would not recommend as it's a hard floor here with no uh, soft padding or knee protection. Usually if you wish to try and kneel, I'd say build up gradually, uh, wear pads initially um, or a soft cushion and don't try and kneel on hard surfaces. Um, the main thing people find initially is that the scar is the uh, thing that causes discomfort when people are trying to kneel uh, and this requires perseverance to get over this. Most of my patients that are gardeners go back to kneeling uh, successfully as they often tell me this afterwards when I follow them up. I hope that's been of help for you. Goodbye.